Hey there guys, it's Golan, this is Rex over here, and welcome back to another game maker tutorial, and today what we're going to be doing is going over some foreground to Game Maker, and how to pull off some kind of neat little effects, like this fog effect that I'm going to show you guys in just a moment, and uh, a lot of people have been asking for this, so I decided to go ahead and do it, and for those of you who are wondering, yes, I will be showing where I got this fog background from, because that was obviously one of the main reasons people were wondering uh, about this whole entire thing in the first place, because I did a little preview on a game while back. Anyway, <laughs> let's just go ahead and uh, run the, uh, the little engine here and see how this all works. So, as you guys can see, we have a nice little fog effect here, foreground, and uh, in the background, we notice there's our object, you know, kind of giving off a mysterious little look, and uh, our foreground also moves uh, slightly to the right a little bit, just kind of give uh, a bit more character to it. And, uh, of course, we have a black background, just because it makes it look more mysterious and awesome, and uh, I just thought it looked good. So, without further ado, this is what we're going to be uh, doing today. Excuse me, I had a little bit of a brain fart there. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and head over to Game Maker and see how this all works. Alright, so you'll notice over here that we have a sprite, which is obviously corresponding to this object, which is this object and stuff. <laughs> so, you really don't need to do anything there. Uh, it's just kind of for tutorial purposes to show you guys that it does work. Uh, the main thing, though, that you want to get is a background. And if, if you want this background specifically, the one that I have here, uh, it actually is included within the Game Maker 8 resources, which is actually where I got it from the first place. Um, <laughs> no, a lot of you guys probably weren't expecting that, but... You know, that's where I got it from. So what you want to do uh, to basically find this is go to Load Background and go ahead and try to find or locate wherever your Game Maker 8, if you have Game Maker 8. Um, it might be included in previous or later versions with the same fog background, I'm not sure, but I know it's in Game Maker 8 uh, files. And what you want to do is go to like Resources and then it'll show a whole bunch of stuff like folders. You want to go to Backgrounds and then find the Mist. Uh, background here and just hit open and you'll get this uh, cool little mist background here you know which is some transparency and whatnot going on and just hit OK and then you want to go ahead and uh, <clears throat> yeah that was weird uh, <laughs> you want to go ahead and create a simple room and go to backgrounds or the background tab and you want to go over here to choose your background and choose your fog background and go over here to where it says foreground image and click that. If it's not clicked, it will automatically look like this, which basically means that it's regular background behind everything. And once you click foreground, it means that it's automatically in front of everything. The depth is the maximum it can be. Alright, and one thing you want to do as well, or you may not want to do, but I did. Um, basically, I hit the stretch button here because if I didn't, it would basically look like this and repeat itself a whole bunch of times. Uh, by hitting stretch, it basically stretched into one giant background uh, to fit the room. So I thought that looked a lot better than just having a whole bunch of them tiled across. So yeah, so that's pretty much how that works. And then finally, you can go ahead, if you want to, just test it out, place your object somewhere in the room there. And uh, I already have mine placed. And then just run the game, I guess. There, <laughs> there really isn't anything. This tutorial is kind of weird because it was so simplistic slash short, but a lot of people want it, so, you know, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully it helps you out, I suppose. If anything, at least you know where to find the background now. This is specifically, you know, a lot for those people who have been questioning me. You can stop questioning me now where to find the background. <laughs> there it is. So anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, feel free to Comment, rate, subscribe, you know, whatever thank you guys want to do. Uh, no one's forcing you. And uh, until next time, until next video, this has been Rex Furry, and as always, I'll see you all then.